Today's video, the problem is from complex integration. And now I am going to evaluate integral 0 to 1 plus i x minus y plus i times x square into dz along this right line from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i. And the next equation here is along the real axis from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 and then along the line parallel to the imaginary axis from z is equal to 1 to z is equal to 1 plus i. See here. First of all, what is given? So, first we have to evaluate integral 0 to 1 plus i x minus y plus i times of x square, x square into dx along the straight line from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i. So, here what is z? So, 0 is nothing but the origin 0 comma 0 and the point here is a point is 1 comma 0 and see here the point here will be 1 comma 1 so this is so this is the straight line so this is the point b 1 comma 1 so this is 1 comma 1 and this is point b so this line is nothing but y is equal to x it is the straight line along the point uh, from z is equal to 0 to 1, 1 comma 1. So, here z is equal to 0, we will take the point origin that is O along OA, along O into, so this, uh, this is B. So, here along the straight line from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i. So, 1 plus i in xy plane is nothing but 1 comma 1. So, here the real part is 1 and the imaginary part is 1. So, along OB. So, O is nothing but the origin 0, 0 and B is nothing but 1, 1. So, here the straight line is nothing but x is equal to y. So, our dx will be. So, here our dy is equal to dx. Now, I am going to substitute all these points in this equation. So, I am going to transform this in terms of x. So, the x limits are from 0 to 1. So, this is 0 to 1 along OB that is z is equal to 0 to z is equal to. So, along OB is nothing but z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i. 1 plus i. The question here is x minus in place of y I am going to write x minus i times of this is x square and this is nothing but dz so dz is equal to dx plus i times of dy so in place of dy i am going to write dx so here 0 to 1 so if i cancel this one this is i into x square and this is dx plus i times of again dx since dy is equal to dx so this will be 0 to 1 i times of this is x square this is 1 plus i times of dx so, if I multiply with i, so this will be i, i square this is minus and this is x square into dx. This is i minus 1. So, for integration of x square is nothing but x cube by 3 between the limits 0 to 1. So, if I substitute 0 to 1 here, then our answer will be 1 minus i by 3. Therefore, we got the answer for integral 0 to 1 plus i x minus y plus i times of x square dz value. So, along the straight line from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 plus i. So, 1 plus i is nothing but 1 comma 1 in xy plane and the origin point here is 0 comma 0 along the straight line. So, this is the straight line y is equal to x. So, y is equal to x. I transform this whole equation, this whole equation. So, in place of uh, y, I wrote x and in place of dx as dy. See here, in place of dy as dx and I substituted and I got the final answer as i minus 1 by 3. And coming to the second question here, along the real axis. See here, along the real axis from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1. See here, along the real axis, z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 and then along the line parallel to imaginary axis. See, this is imaginary axis and this is the real axis. See, along the real axis from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1. So, this is the straight line. See, our question will be, so now we have to evaluate along the real axis. So, x axis is the real axis. 
from z is equal to 0 so this is the origin point 0 comma 0 and z is equal to 1 so this is 1 comma 0 and then along the line parallel to the imaginary line so what is the imaginary line parallel to imaginary line is this one so this is imaginary line and this is parallel to that imaginary line from z is equal to 1 to some b b point so this is the p point 1 comma 1 this is 1 plus i so we have to evaluate through this point that is the real axis from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 and and then along the line parallel to this imaginary axis from z is equal to 1 to z is equal to 1 plus i so we have to make an integral evaluate the integral along oa plus ob so first one along oa along oa see here what is the origin point this is 0 comma 0 and what is the a point here 1 comma 0 if you observe properly here y is a constant 0 and x varies from 0 to 1 so x varies from the point 0 to 1 from this and y is equal to 0 implies if y is equal to 0 automatically dy is also 0 now using this data i am going to evaluate along oa so along oa x minus y plus i into x square into dz so what is dz here so along oa so x minus y plus i times of x square into this is dx plus i times of dy now see here what is dy so dy is equal to 0 so this value dy is equal to 0 and see here y is also 0 so this value is also 0 now if i substitute and transform this in terms of x that is x limits are from 0 to 1 this is x plus i into x square and this is only dx so what remains here so this will be for x the integration is x square by 2 plus i times of this is x cube by 3 between the limits so between the limits 0 to 1 so if i substitute upper limit minus lower limit so this will be half plus i by 3 so along this is oa so this is along oa the integral here is that is x minus y plus i times of x square into dx value is this so this is point number a and next along oa see here along z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 and then along the line parallel to the imaginary line so the line parallel to the imaginary line z is equal to 1 to z is equal to 1 plus i and now we have to calculate along a b so this is along a b the point here is along a b so what is the point a along the point a so what is the point a here this is 1 comma 0 and point b is nothing but 1 comma 1 see here if you observe so x is a constant value x is equal to 1 and y varies from 0 to 1 so x is equal to 1 implies the derivative of x is 0 and y varies from the point 0 to 1 so using this data along a b we have to calculate x see this is x minus y so what is our integral here x minus y plus i times of x square into dz so this is nothing but dz so here i have to write x is equal to 1 so this is 1 minus y plus and this is x square this is 1 1 square so this value is dx plus i times of dy so the y varies from 0 to 1 so along a b the value here will be 1 minus y plus i into see here the dx value is equal to 0 so this value will become 0 and this is i into dy and so what remains here so this will be 1 plus i minus i minus y i into this is dy so if i integrate with respect to y so integral dy is nothing but y and next for y this is y square by 2 between the limits see here between the limits are 0 to 1 and now if i substitute in place of y as 1 see here this is 1 plus i minus this is 1 by 2 into i so again there won't be any dy 
see if i multiply with i then what happens here so this will be i i into i this is minus 1 and this is minus i by 2 i minus i by 2 is nothing but this is i by 2 minus 1 the value here is i by 2 minus 1 so this is nothing but the integral x minus y plus i into x square into dz along a b now the question asked here is so we have to evaluate along the real axis from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to i and along the path line parallel to the imaginary axis from z is equal to 1 to z is equal to 1 plus i so along oa plus ob so now the total integral will be see here the total integral x minus y plus i times of x square into dz is nothing but along oa that is x minus y plus i times of x square dz plus along ab that is x minus y plus i times of x square into dz. So, what are those values here? So, this is value b. So, this is the value b. So, this is a plus b. So, what is the value a here? So, a I will show you that is 1 by 2. So, this is 1 by 2 plus i by 3. So, this value is nothing but 1 by 2 plus i by 3 and this value is nothing but this is i by 2 minus 1 half minus 1 is a half minus half so this value is minus half and if i take 6 as lcm this will be 2i plus this is 3i so the value here will be minus half plus 5i by 6 therefore we got the final answer as so this is minus half plus 5i by 6, 5i by 6. See, this is how we have to solve and hope you understand this one first of all. What is the question given? We have to evaluate this integral along z is equal to 0 to 1 plus i. So, 1 plus i is nothing but 1 comma 1 along, um, so this is um, x, y plane. Along the x, y plane, the points here are this is y and this is x. So, along ob. So, along ob is nothing but the line equation x is equal to y. So, we have to transform in terms of x. After substituting, in place of y as x and in place of dy as dx and this is the answer and and the second question here is so along the real axis from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1 and again z is equal to 1 to z is equal to 1 plus i along oa so this is the problem and along ab so along ab so this is 1 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 comma 1 and these are the substitutions and we have to add up these two for the final result. So this is minus half plus 5a plus 6. And thank you so much and I will be uploading many more videos re related to these series. Please have a look at those. Please practice and if you really like pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.